are you doing? Well, I am working on this sweet operation game that I made. Does it look familiar? I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> how did you make that anyway? Well, I actually used a Makey Makey, and I was inspired by a project uh, that was created from a group of fourth graders at Bowman Woods in Cedar Rapids this last spring. They made their own version of the game operation. Makey Makey, I've been wanting to try that. Uh, Makey Makey is an invention kit for everyone that was created at the Ultimate Makerspace, the MIT Media Lab. It's a circuit board that connects into the USB port on a computer and allows for physical objects that conduct electricity to turn into buttons for your computer. You become part of the process. When you touch the earth wire, you actually complete the circuit. The Makey Makey is based off of a Raspberry Pi, uh, a type of low-cost computer that along with Arduinos are affordably putting computing power into maker projects. If you're still not sure what a Makey Makey is, make sure to check out their amazing video that shows several creative ways to use a Makey Makey. There's a link below. We encourage you to create your own take on a classic game using the Makey Makey. A quick maker hint for this project is to actually purchase either some copper tape or some tin foil to connect your Makey Makey to your game board. Get inspired by the project that these Linmar students from Bowman Woods Elementary created. And as always, have, have fun, fun making. making! We're fourth graders from Bowman Woods Elementary in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Welcome to Think, Think Make, Innovate! Okay, what are you guys, uh, so what are you guys building here? A monkey. A monkey? Oh, perfect. Alright, okay. So, You've got your design. What are the items you're going to use for your game that you're going to pull out? Banana, crate, paper clip, funny bone, and a basketball. Okay. So what are you guys drawing? A dog. A dog? Very nice. Did you come up with the five items? What five items are you going to take out? Um, we're going to take out a blob, a cloth, a jellyfish, a Charlie horse, and a frog. Awesome. Okay. So is the copper or is the is sorry is the cardboard not conductive? Uh, no, it's not. No. So what are you using to make it conductive? Tinfoil. All right. What are you guys doing? We're wrapping tinfoil on the edges. Okay. So if the stick touches it, it does. So tell me what you made there. Um, the like metal ones. Oh, how did you make them? Um, you put tin foil on the tip of the sticks, and then you tape it around to make it stay, and then you put um copper tape on the sides. So the um, alligator clip's gonna be here. Okay. And the bra and then the alligator clip, uh, the electricity is gonna be flowing through the tape, the bronze tape, then onto the aluminum foil, and the aluminum foil would be touching the metal, which would cause the beeper to go off. Can you tell me what you're doing? We're making uh, aluminum foil outside to win her chopsticks. Touch it, uh, it'll be. What have you guys done here? Um, for the, for the first one, all we had to do was take the two bars of code that we needed and then just insert the right word into a different, uh, and then we did a different for every, uh, for every event block. How did you pick the keys you used? Uh, we, we just, uh, like, came right here and we did, we picked events, and then we clicked, um, when, when hit, when click space, um, then, then we went to sound, yeah, and then we went to, uh, how, how did you know which keys to use to pick, like, space and arrows, though? Oh, because they match up what's on the Makey Makey? Yeah. Excellent. Nice job. Good job. Fourth graders from Bowen Woods Elementary, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and we challenge you to make a Makey Makey board game.